I'm Jessica Minton for Ivy Times TV and joining me today is Jason Weisberg from Seaport Securities to talk to me about the revised GDP number as well as consumer spending. Thank you so much for joining me, Jason. It's a pleasure speaking with you. Now today we did see that GDP revision down a little bit from the 2.5 to 2.4. How concerning is that for investors? Uh, I think at this point in time it's not too concerning at all. The government modifies a lot of these data points uh, from quarter to quarter, month to month. So I think that not a lot of people place a lot of stock in the numbers and because it's such a, a minimal difference uh, in the revision, it doesn't really move the needle. I think if it was a, an anomaly or a large, a large delta, then people would um, probably be a little more concerned and those concerns would be reflected in the indexes. Right. And also with consumer spending, um, it is coming out tomorrow and obviously it's a huge part of GDP. It's about 70% of GDP and after seeing the retail sales numbers from a couple weeks ago being better than expected and seeing consumer confidence hit a five year high from a few days ago, that report, do you think that we will see a um, positive number tomorrow? Um, I mean, I would expect the numbers uh, to trend the same way. Uh, and end up with an upward bias, but quite frankly, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a number that was negative. Uh, again, I'm, you know, marginally negative. Uh, I just think that the, the trend of the numbers, we really only had one direction to, that we could possibly go because things were pretty bleak uh, six months to a year ago. And uh, I, I would expect that we'll see the continued trend upward. And finally, Within the last quarter, we have seen those tax hikes and we have seen the spending cuts from the sequestration. With um, consumer spending, from well, with the report today from the government, it said that consumer spending is supposed to be up at around 3.4%. But do you predict that it will take a few, maybe another quarter, to see how exactly um, it is affecting consumers' pocketbooks so far? I think that as far as it's, you know, new taxes having um, meaningful impact, I think that people were prepared for that before the tax change actually happened. I think people curta curtailed their spending in anticipation of the new tax cuts. That being said, I think that we're going to see more of an impact um, within corporate within corporate um, finance as, as opposed to you know personal finance. And I think that they're going to be um, much more heavily impacted, and that will eventually trickle down to the consumer, the individual consumers, and taxpayers.